everybody. Welcome back to IGN's E3 live show, streaming on e3.ign.com and YouTube. It's been a while since the last Medal of Honor game, and it's been far too long, if you ask me. However, this Medal of Honor is trading the trenches of World War II for the high-tech urban warfare of today. Here to show off the game is producer Patrick Liu. Patrick, thanks for joining us. Thank you. I'm really excited to see the return of Medal of Honor. And just to set things up, can we just talk about the setting a little bit? Yeah, so I mean, this is the first time that we set the Medal of Honor franchise in the modern setting. So it's all in Afghanistan and it's all authentic. So every map and all locations are inspired by real places in Afghanistan. And we also set you, you know, in the shoes of the elite of the elite, the tier one operators, to fight against the terrorists and Taliban's there. So cool. And what we're looking at right now is live online play. Absolutely. So you know, this is real online play, and we're only making the multiplayer part at Dice in Stockholm. And you know, this is totally unpredictable. So whatever happens, happens. So I, I have no idea what's going to go on here, but you know. That's the fun of it. So hopefully we'll do well. Yeah. <laughs> so let's go over the way this works a little bit. I mean, just break down for me what this is trying to hit with in multiplayer. Yeah, so I mean, this, this is an opportunity for us at DICE to make something different. Since we've been making Battlefield for so long now, this was an opportunity for us to do something you know, new and different, but still, you know, within our area, what we're good at. Um, so if you ask me what, you know, the differences are from Bad Company 2, which the question I get most is that you know, this is nothing like Battlefield. It's much more in infantry focused. It's much more focused on skill and authenticity. So it feels much more hard, much more serious tone. Um, you know, because Battlefield has always been a bit more of a you know gamey kind of game. Right. And this is more serious, and we really try to you know look at the old classics uh, and and lean back and see, you know, what's really fun with multiplayer. Exactly. That's basically, you know, requiring skill and a balanced game. So we've been looking at that. So every single feature put in there is something that leads towards the authenticity and the skill. So this is definitely not Battlefield. No. I mean, if you just look at a setting here, uh -huh. uh, it's, you know, we have a wide variety of settings, but right now we're looking at Kabul, City Ruins, uh, and a game we call Team Assault, which is basically a team deathmatch type game mode. So it's very basic, but you know people just love it. So you just need to shoot people in the face, you know. And uh, this urban setting is nothing that we've seen before in a battlefield game. Uh, and we're very proud of how this looks. You know, it, it's fantastic. So, what um, other modes are you guys currently talking about? And maybe after that, you can tell me a little bit about the interface, because I'm seeing a lot of interesting things happen. Right. Okay. Yeah. So uh, what we're showing here as well uh, at E3 now is game we call Combat Mission, which is an objective-based game mode. You fight through uh, five, five objectives as coalition, and you have to work together as a team, obviously. Uh, you know, you get access to cap, um, the tanks uh, and stuff like that. So we want to cover a wide variety of game modes. So I would say that Combat Mission is, you know, more leaning towards what we're used to in Battlefield, while, you know, Team Deathmatch is Team Deathmatch. And then we cover a spectrum of game modes in between there. So, you know, there's something for everyone. Cool. So I noticed during the trailer yesterday, I was watching at the press conference, you do get these on-screen prompts after you kill somebody. Yeah. Maybe you can talk a little bit about that. So, yeah, I mean, we want, since this game is so fast-paced, we need to communicate really clearly what's happening with you. Uh, and we've you know, seen that people just need to have that to notice what is happening. And something that we want to promote is skill and, you know, doing good stuff. Not just killing people, but killing people well. You know, shoot them in the face, you know, revenge kills, uh, you know, capture objectives, and that actually uh, feeds into something that we call support actions. Uh, let's hope you, know, you see Kevin get any support actions here, but um, basically you earn uh, two different actions every time. So the offensive one, which could be you know, a mortar strike, and a defensive one uh, that could be a UAV. So you have a tactical choice of being, being on the offensive or the defensive, but either way you will help out your team. and. You know, it promotes playing well. Now, speaking of teams, what type of match are we looking at right now? How many players are in this one? So, uh, both this and Combat Mission will support 12 versus 12 players. So, total of 24 players. Great. And we just saw <laughs> a huge kill. Yeah. Now, speaking of team play, when you're on a huge team, are you trying to promote teamwork, people storming the, uh, the battlefield together? Or is this more of sort of go off on your own, you're part of a team, but you're going to make the big moves by yourself? Um, 
depends a bit on you know, what game are you playing. Um, in a sense, it's a bit more simple. Uh, in the, but you know, if you want to play as a team, you have the tools for doing that. So, for example, the support actions, a lot of them are buffs, team buffs. So you know, can give your teammates more health or more damage, uh, stuff like that. So you know, if you stick together and you like, you know, let's take this objective, let's storm that bunker. So you now let's shoot away some extra health, some extra damage, and then you just head for your objective. So in that sense, there's a lot of uh, teamwork. Let's talk a little bit about the map that we're looking at right now. Yeah. Looks like there's a ton of corners, there's a ton of space in this map. Are you going for mostly large maps or are there some more enclosed areas? Because this looks pretty huge. Yeah, I mean, uh, we, all, we have a different big stairs as well, so different maps have different flavors. Um, so this map in particular is a very classic uh, team deathmatch flow, actually. So there's a flow throughout the whole map, there's never any dead ends. And there's also a very clear vertical gameplay. So there are houses with several stories. You need to look out for that. Um, so there's not so many sniper spots, really. And we've been working very hard at getting this flow. And people really appreciate it. They can't really point out what they like about it, but they just know that this is just awesome. And are you guys having a good time balancing the game? I know that balancing is a huge part of these games. You have yeah. a lot of fun working on that? Oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, we've been doing this for a while now, uh, and it's, it's great also to focus just on multiplayer. Uh, and you know, I have the LA team work on the single player game, so we do what we do best, and they do what do, they, they do best. Yeah, I mean, we know your guys' work. It's great to have somebody with such a pedigree working on a multiplayer game, so we know what to expect. This is looking pretty impressive so far. Is there anything that we didn't touch upon that you wanted to bring up about the gameplay right now? Um, yeah, another thing is uh, we have weapon customization. So first, we do have different classes. There are three classes in there, but each class has you know their own set of weapons, which are widely different. So you know you can almost say that there are six classes. But then the weapons themselves can be customized. So there are three different slots for weapon. Each weapon you can customize you know your own scope, your own type of ammunition, and stuff like that. So. You can really, you know, make your own weapon that fits you, you know, in a particular situation. You can change that on the fly. Great. Well, thanks for coming by. The game Thank looks you. really impressive. I can't wait to sit yeah. down with it. Thanks. Awesome look, guys. Thanks for dropping by. For more on this game and other updates from the show, be sure to check out e3.ign.com. And speaking of intense shooters, our next game will continue the epic fight against the Hellgast. Set your sights on Killzone 3. What's <laughs>